Hi, Steam members. So I've been thinking about the stuff that we've been studying lately, and I've realized that we never got the chance to do a Steam Night for Biology. So in this video that I'm gonna post for you today, I'm gonna take you through one of the big biology concepts, which are the kingdoms of life. This is how scientists classify all life on Earth. They put them into one of six different categories. And as we study this, this subject more of classification and taxonomy of life, you'll find that there are many different classifications within these very large classifications that we're going to look at today. But for the most part, you, you should know these six major areas that all life falls into. The Earth is the only planet that we know of that has life. And the Earth has a great diversity of life on it. Scientists divide all the life into six broad groups. They call these groups the kingdoms, and the first one is the archaea bacteria. They're a very simple form of bacteria, and they live in the most extreme conditions on Earth. Geysers. The calderas of volcanoes spewing out lava. In the depths of the ocean around volcanic vents, And they don't just live in fire, either. They can survive in areas as cold as the Arctic, and some scientists say even the depths of space. The second kingdom is that of the eubacteria. They're slightly more complicated, and they can multiply extremely fast through a process called cytokinesis. They're what get you sick, so watch out. All life is made of a basic unit called a cell. Some kingdoms, like archaebacteria and eubacteria, only have one cell per organism. But some kingdoms, like the protist, can have one cell or many cells per organism. The protists are a group that contain organisms like algae. Many of them are bioluminescent. But that's just to scare off other animals from eating them, not to help them hunt like other bioluminescent animals. The fourth kingdom is also multicellular, that of fungi. They're similar to plants, except they get their food off of decaying material and other life, instead of air, sunlight, and water like plants. Now, you may be a little bit more familiar with these next two kingdoms. The fifth one is plants, and it includes everything from weeds to flowers to trees. All the plants share one common thing. They get their food through a process called photosynthesis. We've talked about photosynthesis before. It's where plants turn water and sunlight into sugar to eat. That's how they all survive. It's a process that doesn't require eating other organisms. One of the waste products of this process is oxygen, which animals use to breathe and to survive. The sixth and final kingdom is that of animals. Animals are multicellular, and they're highly unique among life because they have a conscience. In addition, they don't make their own food, so they're reliant on consuming other organisms that make their own food like plants to survive. They can also eat each other because that transfers the energy of the plants to the consumer. Regardless, animals are some of the most fascinating and amazing parts of life on Earth. 